Welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I happen to be up to today is what you're gonna see right here. And today, I'm, I'm getting hungry and I'm craving food for cooler weather, which means soup. I want soup. I wanna be able to have soup for lunch. Uh, it's been chilly out. I've had my sweater on. I am ready for soup. And I have a great recipe that I had found online for a chicken Parmesan soup. And it's delicious. I made some modifications to it so that it suits my diet, but I will link to the original recipe and I will put my modifications in the description of this video. So let's go make some soup. So this soup recipe is so ridiculously easy because it's a slow cooker recipe which basically means you dump in all the ingredients and you just let the slow cooker do its thing. So the ingredients to put in the slow cooker include a pound of chicken. We're gonna have four cups of broth that I put in my gigantic measuring cup here. We're gonna need two of these little cans of tomato sauce one of these big cans of diced tomatoes. Then over here, I chopped up an onion, and this is three cloves of garlic I chopped up. Then I set up a fancy schmancy herb plate over here. So, salt, pepper, oregano, thyme, basil, bay leaves. And the recipe will be in the description, so all the measurements will be there. Then I can't use cream, so I use coconut milk. Can't have gluten pasta, but I can have chickpea pasta. So these will be all going in. So at the beginning of the recipe, pasta, hold off on. Cream or coconut milk, hold off on. Everything else, go into the slow cooker now. Okay, so I have one of these crock pot slow cookers. I'm gonna take my lid off. Get this out of the way. I'm gonna take my onions and garlics. Those all go in. And I'm gonna take my chickens. And I'm using the chicken tenders just because they were on sale this week. You can use any kind of chicken. Let me just wash my chicken fingers. Okay, chicken fingers are clean. My can opener. Yeah, I see all these videos about people opening cans like this. It never, it never works for me. Like I, I do it the old way. One can of sauce. I'm gonna put all of my herbs and spices in. I'm gonna pull those bay leaves out though. I'm gonna put those in at the end when they'll float. Okay. Next up, the diced tomatoes. Oh my goodness, this pepper is gonna make me sneeze. Dice tomatoes in. And then four cups of chicken stock. Last but not least, Two bay leaves. Take our lid. Lock it in. Now that we're locked in, power. This is gonna go on the high setting for four hours. And we'll check on it then. Okay, four hours later. 
Now I gotta scoop the chicken out of the slow cooker, take two forks and shred the chicken. Then we're gonna add the coconut milk, some cheese, three quarters of a cup of Parmesan, and then we put the chicken back in. I also want to take my immersion blender and blend up the soup because it does have the chunks of tomato and of the onion in it. So before I blended that, I did remove the bay leaf that was floating around in here. So I did take those out because you don't want to eat bay leaf. That's, that's no good. It's good for flavor, not good for eating. So next up, I'm gonna put in half a cup of coconut milk. And with the coconut milk, I always want to shake it up because you end up with like a layer of coconut cream and then like the watery milk. And I want the fat from the the coconut cream, I want it to be both. So, this is one of these cool pop tops here. And cup it. Whole box of the chickpea pasta. and all that delicious chicken. I'm just gonna make sure that gets submerged. Put the lid back on. We're almost there. Another 30 minutes and then it's done. Oh, the cheese, I forgot the cheese. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? Cheese is so delicious. I pre-grated three quarters of a cup of Parmesan and that's what's in this cup. Oh, there's more cheese in there, come on. Yeah. Okay, I'll just get that mix around. Oh yeah, that would have been a shame if I forgot that. Okay, now lid back on. Okay, and we'll be back in 30 minutes. Here is my finished soup. I like to put a piece of provolone on the top of it and let it get all melty because I can't have mozzarella. So this is a good alternative. It'll get like ooey gooey like that. So let's go taste the soup. The soup's on. <laughs> oh, it's also stringy. Look at that. I love it. Okay. This is so good. This is so warm, like on the inside, like on a cold day. It's got the, the sweetness of the tomatoes, the texture from the pasta, the saltiness from the cheese. It's just, it's such a well-balanced and delicious soup. <laughs> that is really good. So, I love this recipe. It's so easy. You don't have to worry about it. You throw everything in that, that uh, crock pot, the, the slow cooker, and it just does its thing. And then, you know, a few hours later, soup. So I definitely recommend this recipe. This is one of my favorites. So I'm going to finish my soup and get some rest. And then until tomorrow, stay inspired by everyone. Take care. <laughs>